Alright, I will make a very quick uh, videos to explain to you how to do this kind of questions because our, uh, yeah, I guess quite a lot of students uh, cannot do the indices question like this. Alright, so basically, if you want to do the question like this, right, um, first thing is, uh, you kind of need to understand what is the power of like one point five negative zero point five and zero point five. Alright, so if if you want me to change it, right, um, x is power zero point five. It basically means square root of x. And then x is power 1.5. Actually, you can say it's x power of 3 over 2, or uh, it can be x cubed and then you square root it. And then x power of negative 0 0.5 is basically is 1 over square root x. Yeah, you can change it into this form and do it. But then in uh, uh, over here, I just want to save some time. So I'm not going to use any of this, but you can always try the different methods to solve it. So what I will try to do here is uh, I will move the whole thing here to the other side, it become multiply. So you can see what I'm doing here is this one it will be 2x power 1.5 plus 6x power of negative 0 0.5 will equals to this x power 1, right? Imagine x power 1 multiply x power of 0 0.5. You basically get 1 plus 0 0.5, which is 1.5. All right, plus 5x. All right, right now you have negative 0 0.5. You need to plus 1, right? Because this is x power 1, right? Multiply mean plus, isn't it? Then you will get positive 0 0.5. Alright, then in order to make this equation look uh, easier a little bit, what I will do is the whole equation here, I multiply x 0 0.5. Why I want to do that? Because I do not want to solve in uh, 1.5 of 0 0.5. So when I multiply 0 0.5 means what? I add 0 0.5 for the power here. So this one will become 2x squared. And then plus, this one is negative 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 becomes 0, right? So this one becomes 6. x power of 0 is 1, so I will just write a 6 here. So this one will become x squared as well. This one will become plus 5x power 1. Because 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1. Alright, then what I want to do now is I move everything to one side. You should be able to see right now you only have a quadratic equation. Then I have an x squared because 2x squared minus x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. Then I will just factorize it easily, which is x minus 3 and then x minus 2. All right, then x equals to 3 or x equals to 2. All right, this is the easiest way I can find to solve the question like this. Yeah, I think the most crucial part for a question like this is come out the idea that you can actually multiply x 0 0.5 to make your equation look like so easy like this, then you should be able to do the rest. Alright, I hope you can learn something from this video. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.